Not an experienced swimmer, but get carried out in a rip. What is the most important thing to do? Like I said before, just take a deep breath, remain calm. Um, raise your weaker hand, use your stronger hand to keep your afloat. Um, try not to use too much energy because when you start using too much energy, you start breathing heavy or your oxygen air that's in your system starts to expel. So um, I like to tell people that the old test, anyone that's familiar with a swimming pool, you hang onto a lane rope and you, you, you're normal and then you breathe out, you naturally want to sink like a pin drop. So that that's me telling me when there's no air in your system, you naturally want to sink. So if you remain calm, keep breathing normal, try and stay afloat, um, it helps a lot. Uh, and yeah, just, just call out for help. Don't scream, because obviously when you scream, um, you're using a lot of energy. If, if people are close, you can yell out to them. Yeah. But um, if no one's around, yeah. you just yeah. got to have to wait it out and just try and stay as flo as, as, for as long as you yeah. can Flaved and try and um, get someone's attention. Yeah. Hopefully you're swimming with a friend or family member or yeah. someone that you know yeah. and they could raise the alarm. And yeah, a lot of the get, time yeah, rips. A lot of the time rips sometimes go in a big circle. So you go out with it, around get pushed back in, get stuck in it again, so you pretty much do circles. That's some rips. Not all, all, yeah. not all rips, but also you can get sucked out the back and stay in the head of the rip. If you just swim 10 meters, 20 meters to the left or the right or out the back, you can actually swim around out of the out of the rip current. So a lot of the times people drown halfway, so halfway in the rip, yeah. they, they start it's, to panic and they drown there, and then that's it. But if you actually stay with it, sometimes, yeah it can bring you back to where you started. Good advice.